Hello, random people on the internet. My name is Banana, and today at 1.28 in the morning, there was a forum post coming out titled PSA, Upcoming Gemstone Changes. And this is actually more than just gemstone changes. It's a pretty big post talking about some balancing that they're planning on doing for the Crystal Hollows in the next week. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on exactly what is going to happen in the Crystal Hollows and how it is going to affect you. It seems like a pretty cool update coming soon. It seems like a lot of the stuff is interesting and some of the stuff might scare some people, but it's about the numbers that I expected when it came to the gemstone nerfs. But before that, we're coming in on 50k, so if this video helps you, I'd really appreciate a subscription. It's the best way for you to support the channel. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Sorry for shilling in every single video, but I just really want to try and get 50k again, and that would be epic. But yeah, let's get to the changes. So it starts off and it basically just talks about the one coin nerf that happened to gemstones and uh, yeah that, that was an accident they are basically explaining what's going on and they're saying what a lot of other players are saying which is that gemstone grinding has caused a tiny bit of inflation because the people that sell it to NPCs are creating loads and loads of new coins per day and that's definitely increasing the price of a lot of items in the game. Uh, the daily coins actually didn't go up that much, but they said that people were spending less coins on things because people were just gemstone mining instead. And they were planning on nerfing it, and someone randomly with Hasco bolded out. Uh, someone made an honest mistake and they pushed a one coin change, and that's not the final decision that they're going with. So, uh, yeah, that was what accidentally happened, and here's what they actually want to do. To start off, they are going to nerf the NPC price of every gem from 8 to 4. Now, I, this is exactly in line with what I expected them to do. I felt like this would be the most logical nerf because that puts the best of the best players down to about 30 million coins an hour. And uh, that that's still very, very good. That's still a, an amazing money-making method. Still going to be the best consistent money-making method in the game. And uh, that just makes sense. 8 to 4 is a very logical jump rather than 8 to 1. I would have even accepted something like 8 to 3, but I, I, 8 to 4 is perfectly fine. So I don't think that's going to really make everyone mauled that much. It's obviously going to divide the amount of money you make in half. But dividing 60 million coins an hour and a half is sort of necessary when you're making literally a million coins a minute. The next thing they're going to do is fix the pristine chat message. It currently says 1 or 2 or and anywhere up to like 5 whenever you break something. And that's not actually how much you get because I believe fortune procs on top of that. So you end up getting like 15 times the amount that you actually say you get in chat. So that's just a nice QOL. It's not really going to affect anything, but it's going to be cool. And then the next thing is something that is related to coins and they're trying to make people spend more coins since they're creating so many coins and that's adding a price for removing gems. I don't think that this will really affect anyone because these prices are pretty minimal. It's one coin to remove a rough, 100 for a flawed, 10,000 for a fine, 100,000 for a flawless, and 500,000 for a perfect. If you have 500,000 coins, or if you don't have 500,000 coins when you have a perfect and you're trying to remove it, I think there's another problem somewhere there. <laughs> they said that it's just meant to be a small fee. It's not meant to really punish you. I can just understand this as just something that they're adding to delete some of the coins from the game while still having a lot of coins being created from the Crystal Hollows because right now no one is spending any NPC coins. The next one is related to the gemstone grinder and it is adding a feature that makes it so you have to unlock the gemstones on some of the different items. Not as hard as the divin armor was to unlock, it's not making you unlock any uh, chambers or anything to throw on there, but some of these can get a little bit expensive. And uh, for example, they said the aspect of the end has the free sapphire slot. But then if you look at Flame Breaker Armor, it looks like, for one, they're changing the uh, the slots that are actually available on this. 
and uh, they're adding a jade slot, but they're making a fee of 5k coins and one fine amber to unlock the amber slot, or 20k coins and four fine jade to unlock a jade slot. And then they're also adding another slot to Necron armor where there's going to be a Jasper slot that costs four flawless Jasper and 250k coins. And then there's a combat slot, which is a new feature that I'm going to talk about in a second that does exist. And uh, you have to actually like get a bunch of flawless ones. You got to get Jasper, Sapphire, Ruby, and Amethyst along with 250,000 coins to unlock that second slot on your Necron armor. They said that it's only going to apply to new pieces of gear. All current armors and gear in the game would also or would have slots unlocked by default and i'm not sure if that means that like necron armor will always have its slots unlocked by default or if they're just saying current existing pieces of necron armor will have all slots unlocked by default but it does seem like necron armor is getting the topaz slot removed because right now there is a universal slot on a lot of armors like superior and like necron and they're changing the universal slots to like Jasper in a combat slot rather than just being able to put on anything. And I'm going to talk more about that when I get to that specific change that they talk about. But that's pretty crazy that they're doing that. Alright, so this next one is a big one. They are introducing combat, mining, and defensive slots to break away from universal slots. This is going to allow them to add more slots to items without worrying that their power level is going to skyrocket. Now, this is a huge change because I assume that they're going to do this change to things like the Necromancer Lord armor or the Adaptive armor or Superior armor. Pretty much anything that has a universal slot is most likely going to get changed and these armors are all combat based. They are all based on just dungeons or dragons or something like that and they have the fabled Topaz slot. The Topaz slot is the reason that a lot of people use these armors and uh, they're using that just because it's much easier to get something like Shadow Assassin armor over getting something like Divin armor because Divin armor, while it does have a Topaz slot, is a lot more expensive and obviously it's better, but some players can't afford to just shill out a bunch of coins for a mining set and now you're pretty much forced to because they're going to be removing the Topaz slot from a lot of these sets in the game. I hope to see them add a Topaz slot to something like Sorrow Armor. I hope that they just add Sorrow Armor into like the Topaz or the Mining slot thing, I guess. Or something on like Glacite, maybe. But it's definitely going to be tough for some of the newer players seeing it get removed from these armor sets if they do so. Uh, I do think it's interesting that they're doing this change and that will mean that hopefully a lot of things get more slots for gemstones and that you have to apply more because they don't have to really think about everything that is going to be affected. I feel like they could just throw a defensive slot on a lot of different pieces and it really wouldn't affect that much of the game if they just did that. So I'm looking forward to this change. It's just going to be crazy for the early game players who don't have something like Divin's armor because it seems like the topaz and the pristine that you get from it might be getting removed from the stuff early on. The last things that they're doing in this is they're changing a bunch of stuff related to the crystal nucleus. And uh, I I'm sort of hyped for that. The crystal nucleus sucks a lot. They're also changing the recipe of the gemstone mixture. But the main things here is the crystal nucleus. I think that the crystal nucleus is something that I wish people ran more because then they'd have to watch my video on how to do it. And <laughs> it's just, uh, it's not worth running right now and it's going to be really fun. So the first thing they're doing is they're increasing the chance of getting Jaderold. Jaderold is super rare and it's definitely the best reforge in the game for mining. So it's good to see that becoming more common. The next thing that they're doing, they're changing the gemstone mixture recipe from 500 sludge juice to 320. And then they're making it four of each fine gemstone rather than two. I will take this change any day because... 500 sludge juice is a lot, and as a person who just started an Iron Man, I didn't want to have to grind out just thousands and thousands of sludge juice. Now I have to grind out 
Uh, still thousands and thousands, but less thousands because it's 320 now. Next change, I love this one too because I used to be the number one worm farmer on the server, but they're upping the spawn rate of worms and Scatha. Uh, this is really nice because apparently the person who is number one beast Jerry has unlocked the drop chance of the pet and uh, it's, it's way, way, way more rare than I said it was in my video. I forget the exact number, but it's crazy. Uh, I can't believe they would make a pet that rare from a mob that rare, but now the mob might be a little more common, so that's going to be fun. Next thing, they're adding a little bit more rewards to the Crystal Nucleus. These are all rewards that I have pretty much talked about with my friends, and I'm surprised that they are actually adding them. I think the admins might be listening to my Discord calls, but they're giving 800 Heart of the Mountain XP every time that you complete the Nucleus. That's just a little bonus on top, I guess. I don't think anyone's going to be running Crystal Nucleus to get Heart of the Mountain XP, but maybe it, it could be fast in some cases. I don't see a situation where this is going to be that good adding 800 XP because that's just two commissions in the Crystal Hollows. But they're adding that. They're also making it give one of each fine gemstone on top of the current rewards, which uh, that that's just a, a nice add-on. Uh, it's going to be especially nice for something like Jasper, where giving a fine is uh, a, a pretty sizable amount of Jasper. They're adding two more rewards to it. They're adding uh, two more rare rewards, I guess I should say. They're adding a gemstone mixture and a Fortune 4 book. Uh, Fortune 4, I, I'm excited to see that. And the gemstone mixtures coming from the Nucleus should definitely speed up a lot of people's grind towards Divin Armor or towards anything that requires the gemstone mixture. I think that that is a huge, huge thing to give to people. And that is an amazing change that will hopefully make people run Crystal Nucleus more. And then they're adding two very rare rewards, and they're making flawless gemstones. Uh, apparently, you can get flawless gemstones from the Crystal Nucleus, but they're making them a bit more common. And then they're adding a pet item that gives mining speed. So those are all the Crystal Nucleus changes. Those are pretty cool. I, I think that those are going to be uh, some nice things that make the Crystal Nucleus or just whatever they're changing, like the worm farming, just a little bit better and a little bit more enticing to some of the new players because more mining speed is nice as long as it's a good amount as long as it's over like a hundred that should be fine and then the gemstone mixture mm, i cannot wait to grind those out via the crystal nucleus we got three more things on here they're going to add a way to view gemstones without any add-ons so right now you can't really tell that there is any gemstones on here you can see that the stats exist and then there are mods like Skyblock Extras where I can hold shift and it shows all of the gemstones that I have on it. And they want to add something like that into the normal game where you can just see it on the stats. That makes sense. It's pretty weird that they didn't have that from the start. But I don't really know how you would note it anyways. So they're going to figure that out. It's going to be nice to see all those stats rather than just having to do your math to figure out if gemstones are on there. The next thing they're doing is they're making the Artifact of Power upgrade in rarity when you put 7 perfect gemstones on it. That is amazing because the Artifact of Power right now maxes out at an epic talisman. And uh, that just feels pretty weird because uh, it is a very, very expensive talisman to make in the first place. And then the perfect gemstones that you put into it are insanely expensive for a lot of people. And it is epic at best. So... Seeing it go up to Legendary will hopefully make more people want to throw in all the perfect gemstones. I know for sure that I have not put in any more perfect gemstones than I really need to. And uh, I'm pretty sure I only have a perfect Topaz on there right now, actually. So I'll definitely be throwing on more perfect gemstones once that update comes out because that's just going to be a good change. And the last thing that they're doing is they're reducing the rarity of the Divin's Drill from Mythic to Legendary. Uh... Sort of disappointed in this change because the Divin's Drill uh, was the first base mythic item in the game. But to be honest, Supreme gave no benefits on top of it. And uh, it's just better for it to just be mythic. So logically it makes sense. But fun wise, I liked having red items exist. That was cool. And that is all that they have for us. They definitely said that this is going to be something that they want to release next week. 
but they don't exactly know how people are going to feel about this. I think that all of these changes sound pretty awesome. I think they definitely do need to make at least one armor set that is earlier on that has a topaz slot because if you don't have a topaz slot exist early on then you're just gonna have the rich keep getting richer while the poor keep making no money because they have no pristine. That's my one uh, question mark here because right now everyone has necromancer lord or adaptive or something that's just pretty cheap where they can throw a topaz on there and removing the ability to do that might make early game crystal hollows mining sort of suck a little bit to get gemstones that you need uh the crystal nucleus changes i think are just amazing i can't wait to get fortune 4 and just gemstone mixtures in the crystal nucleus is the greatest thing that they could have ever thought of whoever thought of that great job you admin who did that but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below or drop a comment on the forum post. I'm going to leave that in the description. But that is going to be all for this video. I hope it kept you informed and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.